If you are someone that likes to make money online, you need a wise account. If you are a dollar arbitrager, you need a wise account. If you are a freelancer, you need a wise account. If you are a businessman, you need a wise account. If you are someone that wants to receive funds from abroad or maybe send funds to other countries, you need a wise account. Wise account enables us to be able to transact in foreign currencies. You understand? You can send funds to your wise account in euro in dollars and in pounds and also in other currencies aside these three mentioned you can also receive funds in other currencies as well so wise account formerly known as transfer wise is very important for everyone especially for freelancers and for dollar arbitrageers okay hello guys and welcome once again to the tons of tech youtube channel with your girl morinology today we are going to talk about how to open verify and generate account details using wise account number one we are going to learn about how to open wise account that is how to create the account number two we're going to learn how to verify the account number three we are going to learn how to generate account number when i say account number i'm talking about foreign account numbers using wise account and all these things we are going to do in this video and we are going to do it instantly here and now Okay, if you are visiting this YouTube channel for the first time, this is Real Thumbs Up Tech YouTube channel. We talk about how to make money online, dollar arbitrage, and tech tutorials. If you've not yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, can you subscribe by tapping on the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you will also be notified whenever I post any new videos. If you like making money online, make sure that you subscribe and also join my Telegram group to the description below so that you also meet people that will motivate you on making money online. All right, so let's talk about how to open transfer wise or wise account online i said that we're going to discuss about number one how to open the account number two how to verify the account number three how to generate account details on wise when i say account details i'm talking about foreign account numbers how to have your own foreign account numbers in any country of your choice wise account is a very legit platform that enables us to transact in foreign currencies and in any currency of our choice you can send that money and also receive funds on wise account so no matter what you do online having a wise account should be one of your priorities because it will ease your stress online okay all right so without wasting much of our time let's go into the main deal so this is wise app you can go through the description of this video below to get the link on how to download wise app wise account app just go down you will see the link that will lead you immediately to the download option of wise app all right so this is wise app here yeah? this is wise app i've already downloaded it so as it is right here you tap on this wise you tap on it so when you tap on wise it will bring you to this environment now you can see different options you can hold 50 plus currencies and convert between them in seconds you can hold more than 50 currencies 50 plus and convert between them in seconds that means if you have dollars and you want to send euros you can convert that dollars to euros in seconds it's not even up to one minute you can do all those things immediately without wasting time so these are the things you can do on wise wise is very cheap wise does not cost much you can see the features of wise accounts the transaction fee is very low in fact if you are sending from wise to wise it is free of charge they don't collect anything from you and it is very fast fast way to send money abroad if you are sending money to anyone abroad using wise accounts it delivers almost instantly or maybe within some minutes you can hold more than 50 currencies and wise account is very trusted by millions it is a very hundred percent legit platform that can enable you to transact in foreign currencies without wasting much of our time let's register wise account here we're going to do everything practical and live so let me register wise account you can see you can either use your google account to register or you log in if you or you log in if you have an account already or you register for a new account using any email of your choice 
So let me tap on this register here. So under this register, I enter my email. They said enter your email. I enter my email address. I tap on this next. It brings me to this environment. What kind of account would you like to open today? You can add another account later on too. Do you want to open a personal account or a business account? If you have business documents, maybe you have your CSC documents, depending on your country, you can open a business account. But me, for me, I want to open a personal account. So you tap on personal account. Personal account. That is for individual. So here you select your country. You select your country. So you know your own country. You select it here. Mine is Nigeria. So I tap on next here. If you look below here, you will see next. You tap on next. So the next option is to enter your phone number. You enter your phone number. So let me enter my phone number there. So when you're done typing your phone number, you tap on send code. Then why is we now send code oh, to this your oh. line? Okay, I have received my code 145136. Okay, so this is the code you tap on continue. I didn't mean you did not receive the code, you tap on I didn't receive the code, but me I received the code. So I will tap on continue after I have entered the code on my phone. So the next option is to select your password. You type in the password you want to use on the platform. You type in the password you want to use on the platform. So let me type in my password. So when you are done typing in your password, you tap on register here. Register. Once you press the register option, it will load and bring you to this environment. Protect your account with biometrics. So if you want to use a fingerprint to open your WISE account, you tap on set up biometrics. If you don't want it now, you tap on not now. But me, I want it. So let me select set up biometrics. I enter my fingerprint. Okay. So all done. Got it. You tap on got it. So now we've opened a WISE account. We've created a WISE account. That is number one. Let's see the interface of WISE. They say, what would you like to do now? Transfer money, open an account in a new currency. Now this is our WISE account. This is our WISE account right now. You can see that. This is our WISE account. So I have created WISE account. That is number one option. The first thing we say we are going to do here. Then the second one is verifying WISE account. But when we talk about the verification, let's first of all explore WISE interface. You can see this option, open an account. So when you tap on this, open an account. Get started here. You type in your country, the, con the currency you want. Choose a currency account to open. So let me open a US currency. United States dollar. So let me tap on it. You can see open many more. So when you open it, you will see this option. Let's open your USD account. Now, read this. You will get a USD account and the following USD account details. Where are the number and others? But the step you have to complete for you to get this USD account details is, number one, fill in your personal details. The other one says, add at least 10,000 Naira to your account. The... the the last one says verify your identity. So let's tap on this continue here. You will see an option for us to add our details. So let me add my details here. They say full legal first and middle names. So let me enter my name here. You enter your last name. You now go down and select your date of birth. You type in your date of birth. You put your address here. Yeah? 
Under the city here, you type in your city where you stay. Postal code, you enter your postal code here. Then your phone number is already there. You now tap on save. You tap on save here to save your account details. So we've performed the first step. The next one is they said that we have to send 10,000 naira into our account. Remember that they brought out three options for us. They said that the first one is for you to fill your personal details. The second one is for you to load 10,000 naira at least 10k into your wise account. The third one is to verify your account. But we we want to verify our account without the deposit yet. So what we are supposed to do right now is log out of this uh, wise app tap on uh, this go to here go to this symbol here then you select do it later so we are coming back so we are coming back the next thing is for you to log out of this account yet log out first let's go to you go down here by the bottom right you tap on account go to the bottom right here you will see account option you tap on it you now go up here by the top right too, you, you will see the settings symbol. You tap on these settings here. Then you scroll down, you will see sign out. We want to sign out. We want to sign out first. Then what is the next thing to do? The, the next thing for you to do right now is use a browser to log in. Use a browser, maybe a Chrome browser or any other browser to log in to WISE. So they said that I should go through my email that they sent a mail to me. So let me log on to my email. So this is the message they sent to me. Confirm your email address. So let me confirm my email address. I tap on confirm. And I select uh, my browser. Okay, so email verified. When you go to this account option here, by the bottom right you will see account when you tap on it and go to account details here account details you tap on continue so let's select the currency we want now you can see that there are now you can see that there are three steps for us to take so we can complete our wise verification the first one says fill in your personal details we've done that and that's why they ticked it for us now we are in the second stage that says deposit at least ten thousand naira in your wise account deposit at least ten thousand naira in your wise account so when you tap on make a deposit here yeah? when you tap on make a deposit you will see these options that say you can send usd to nigeria select usd for the target currency here then select switch under and other so these are long messages so what he's actually talking about is you have to deposit like ten thousand naira into this your account and mind you if you are a nigerian why does not accept nigerian cards currently unless you have a dollar card that's when you can use it on this platform you understand so now what you have to do is there are different virtual cards that issue uh virtual dollar cards like clasha and others so when you tap on this nigerian naira here when you tap on this nigerian naira and scroll down you select let's assume that you have a dollar card there are different ways you can fund your wise account number one is you can use card number two someone can send maybe euro or dollars equivalent of ten thousand naira and above to your account you understand so let me assume you want to use card maybe you have a cheaper cash card to use or you have a a clash virtual card to use or you have a plumter virtual card or gig pay card or other cards to use on this platform so what you have to do is you select the currency of the card so let me assume the card is in a uh, dollars you select usd united states dollars 
so when you are here you tap on continue no paying with you are adding usd let me say usd 20 20 dollars and you are paying with dollars as well because what you have is your dollar card you are paying with dollars so you now tap on continue you tap on continue it will now load and bring you to an environment where you have to use your card to load it so if you have your card with you you select debit card when you select debit card you now fill the card details and others and get your account funded so this time around i don't want to use card to verify my wife's account i really don't want to use card so what i want to do now is i want someone that will send dollars into my account i want someone that will send dollars into my account but before i do that i have to first of all activate because i don't have account details on wise yet so what i'm supposed to do now is i have to activate my wise account such that someone can send money to me via my email address only so how can someone now send you money through your email address on wise you have to activate it if not it will not go so how do you now activate it you log on to wise using your web using your browser sorry using your browser you log on to wise wise.com you log on to wise so now we are in wise i've actually entered my details and i'm here so the next thing for you to do now is to go to this option you have to go to this place this option that displays your name you can see it here once you tap on it you tap on it then you go to settings here yeah? you go to settings once you are in settings you now go to contact on wise you will see the details there you will see send and receive from people on wise without using bank details so when you tap on it it will open to this environment so how do you want people to find you on wise do you want them to find you uh, through your email address or through your phone number so you can as well activate the two of them both with my email address and with my phone number so having done that let's now go and find someone that will send me dollars using binance i want to use binance this time around but before you use binance make sure that you have at least 20 dollars in your binance account when i say 20 dollars i mean 20 usdt because we will sell that usdt to someone that will now send dollars to our wise account what do i mean by that let's do it practical so that you understand it better you now go to your binance account you go to your binance account so this is my binance account i have to go to wallet let me transfer 20 dollars from my spot to funding wallet because what i want to transact is 20 dollars that's what i want to send I want to send 20 USDT. So let me transfer 20 USDT to my funding wallet. 20 USDT because why it says at least 10,000 Naira. You tap on confirm transfer. So let me now go to P2P and sell it to someone that will send dollars to me. So when you come over here to P2P, you go to this option that says Nigerian Naira NGN. You tap on it then you select usd because we want to sell it to usd you select usd confirm so this is usd now you are here we want to sell we are looking for someone that will buy our usdt and send the money to our wise account we are looking for someone that will buy our usdt and send the money to our wise account so that is what we want to achieve here right now So, what you have to do now is, you have to go to this payment method here. Yeah? There is a, a payment method option here. 
you tap on the payment method when you tap on it you select wise because you want to sell it to someone on wise wise you select wise there you now tap on this confirm so these are the people we can sell it to so what we want to do here now is we want to sell our usdt to someone that will send us dollars we want to sell our usdt to someone that will send us dollars into our wise account so you go to the sell option here you select sell option once you are here so let's sell it to this person that has a very good score rate this person has 42.90 percent score rate score rate which is very poor let's go to this one that has 95.40 percent you tap on this person now you enter your usdt we are selling 20 usdt and we are receiving 20.04 usd so what we are what we are going to receive here is 20 about 20 dollars because we have 20 usdt and we are selling it off to buy dollars so you now come to this buy crypto option and enter your 20 usdt now when you are done you you come here and select add wise account because you have to add your wise account you now type in your wise email address your wise email address and that is all these bank details and others let's leave it for now because we don't have anyone you tap on this confirm then you confirm it with your phone number they will send a code to your line so you confirm it that you've added a new payment method on wise on a binance all right so that is it this is our wise email you now tap on it you sell with zero fee you tap on sell with zero fee so we will now wait for this guy to send us 20.4 dollars 20 points 20 dollars and four cents into our wise account let's wait for this guy to send it into our wise account as you are waiting, let me pause this video as you are waiting for this guy to send the money to our wise account. Now, when you go to your email, you will see what the wise sent you an email address that you should get verified to receive money because someone has tried sending you money via your email address and it did not go. It didn't go. So what wise is not telling you that you should verify your account? Have you seen it? Even without depositing money in your account yet. So we now tap on this get verified to receive money. Once you tap on it, you will see get verified. So once you tap on this get verified, you select your browser when you select your browser you enter your password login you will see that wise will lead you to verification environment immediately you will start your verification without first of all depositing funds into your account yet you understand so this id issuing country you select your id your the country that issued your id card so for me i will select nigeria you type in nigeria you can see nigeria here you select it document type i have passports you select passports next verify your identity with your passport go and get your passport you need to take a photo of it so we have to snap our passports let me remove my hairnet so you tap on a take photo wise wants to use your camera no problem you tap on allow
you now capture your passport so when you're done you tap on submit you can see the submit option down there you tap on submit when you're done capturing your id card for me i'm using my passport so you tap on submit when you tap on submit you will see great photo now it is time to take a selfie now you have to take a selfie of yourself a picture of yourself you tap on take selfie all right that is it so the next thing is you tap on submit you tap on submit then they say they want to match your selfie with your id card you tap on allow allow you wait for them they said you are all done next we will check your documents and get you verified we will let you know when that is finished you tap on got it have you seen what happened now we've skipped the second stage and entered the third stage the first stage says fill your profile details the second stage says um deposit ten thousand naira, right the third stage says verify your identity now we've skipped the second stage that says deposit and we are now in the third stage yet we've not yet deposited any fund into our wise account so we are now waiting for them to get our account verified so you can see that within almost two minutes our account has been verified you will see we've confirmed your document this is an email message from wise we've confirmed your documents good news we've confirmed a personal document you've sent us that means my account has been verified i've seen it without depositing funds into my wise account first you can see that so my account has been verified don't forget what we did after creating your account on the app the next one is you now go to binance and create a sell order make sure that you have usdt because you won't actually sell you just want to inform wise that you want to receive funds your account so they should just provide a means for you to get your account verified so once the person on binance now tries to send money to your wise account it will not go and why will be like ah this person actually wants to receive funds so let me just uh, help him or her to verify the account they will now send you a message via your email that will enable you to verify your account before you now deposit because they already know that you have funds on the way to deposit in your wise account so that's why they will give you that opportunity to verify your account first before receiving the funds now i am here how do i know that my wise account has been verified i now tap on this usd dollar i now tap on it once you press it you will see the same get account details for your USD account. Now, let's press it now. It will open. You now see that we have verified our identity. Now, our account has been verified. We can now start receiving funds as we like. So, we've undergone the second stage now. I said we are going to do three things. Number one is how to create an open wise account. Number two is uh, how to verify wise accounts. Then the third one is how to generate account details using wise account so we've done the first which is opening it we've created a wise account we verified it right now and the next one is generating account details so having had your usdt on your binance you can now tap on this us this is a us currency that we created earlier you will now go to your USD account details. You will see that we've passed the first stage and the last stage, remaining the deposit stage. So you will now go to make a deposit. Make a deposit. Then if you have your card, you can as well use your card here. But now I don't want to use my card. Let me see, go to Binance. Now I can now purchase dollars on binance successfully let me now go back to binance so this is binance it is already in a usd you select wise you select wise we want to sell we already have 20 usd here you want to sell 20 dollars the rates has reduced now let's go and filter this okay let's remove it from merchant you remove it from a merchant now we can buy at this rate 
it will send like let me say fifteen dollars to wise fifteen dollars so let me just send usdt 15 usdt will give us 15 usdt will give us 15.06 dollars so that's okay let's now sell uh, usdt to this guy and buy dollars we select our wise this time around it will go we now tap on sell with zero fee sell with zero fee so let's wait for him to send it to our wise account let me go here and send him a message hello dear are you there don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel because we still have many updates to post we still have to discuss about how to make money using this wise account after you must have created it so make sure that you subscribe and press the bell notification so make sure that you subscribe and press the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i post any new videos as well try to join my telegram group in the description below so that you will meet people that will help you and motivate you on how to make money online so let's go to this uh, environment okay he said he's there the guy has paid the money immediately unlike the first transactions that didn't go through you know the first time we tried this it didn't go because we've not verified our wise account but now we've verified it and this guy has sent this money into our wise account let's now wait to receive the fund in our wise account because we've not received it yet let's wait to receive the fund in our wise account we've not seen it in our wise okay okay we've seen it right now the fund has entered our wise account so let's go and release this guy because he has sent the money to us let's now go and release him all right now we have funds into our wise account now look at what happened here if we tap on this uh us to see our account details that is account number when you see go to this place your usd account details you will see that the deposit option is still not active let's know why make a deposit it is telling us to make a deposit into this account so let's select usd usd i know what they are actually talking about usd usd you see that they said that we should now they said we should deposit at least 20 usd into our account that means the 15 usd is not even enough you understand so we have to not go back and deposit more so i just did this for you to understand how wise works so if you are depositing deposit from 20 dollars upwards now i've made the mistake of depositing 15 dollars which i actually want to use to explain something to you now let me go back and send additional ten dollars into the account so let me transfer this one to my p2p let me transfer it to p2p first transfer usd let me transfer about um about five more because i already have five in my funding wallet let me send five more then let me now go back to p2p and sell it let me use wise go back here and remove it from merchant let me go to sell now let me sell it to this guy let me sell it to this guy let me sell ten dollars to this person sell let me now wait for him to send the funds to my account. Now the guy has sent the money and we now have $29.09 in our account. We can now generate account details. We can now generate account details by tapping on this uh, USD. You go to your USD account details. You will see that everything is now okay and this is my account number. I can now start giving people this account number to send money to me online or any other place. So this is my own account number. Even if I want to create a euro account, once I tap on this uh, euro here, you tap on this place, your euro account details. 
you will see my euro account details even if i still want to create a pounds account you tap on this open you select currency there are different currency you can select currency accounts these are the currency you can select both ghana cds kenya nigeria even nigerian naira ukrainian all the currencies they are here so let me create a pounds account british pounds you select it so we now have pounds account to see your pounds account details so when you tap on your pounds pounds british pounds you you go to your your gbp account details you will see your pounds account information so that is it you see your account number and every other information that you can use that is all about that that is how to create wise account verify wise account and generate account details on wise then the next thing we are going to do in my next video is how to use wise for dollar arbitrage and make some money you can use wise to make a lot of money online as a freelancer or as a dollar arbitrager so kindly subscribe make sure that you subscribe by tapping the red subscribe button below and also pressing the bell icon so that once i post any new video youtube will notify you and you watch it and learn how to make some money as well please ensure you join my telegram group in the description below you will see a link to my telegram group make sure that you join it so that you will see people that will motivate you on how to make money online and all your questions will be answered and everything is free of charge so have a nice day